Rodriguez, he'll come back up to bat. This time with the lead, National League comes ahead and scores two runs. So it's now 2-1 National League over the American League in the bottom of the fourth. No one out, no one out. First pitch of the at bat. And Mac is going to hit this one into right center. This has got a chance. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another episode of Mac Money, Road to the Show here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. It is July 10th, 2018. It is the 2018 All-Star Game, this time in Houston, Texas, and Mac Money is ready to go. I know I showed you guys the attributes last episode, changed a couple since then, and I thought you should know. So here are the standings just before we get into the game. Just going to be going over a few things like standings, league leaders, stuff like that. See, the Braves are doing very, very good. 54-37. and 37. They're 8-2 and two in their last 10. Second overall in the league. And they're they're doing very well. I did not expect them to do, to do this well. I was hoping they would do well, but I didn't think they would do this well. And here are the standings. If you see your favorite team, feel free to pause and look. But, uh, yeah. You know, Mac Money is living the life, honestly. Three All-Star appearances in three years in the league. First appearance with the White Sox in the AL. Last year, right after he got traded to the Braves, his first appearance with the NL, second overall. And then this year, his third overall and second appearance with the NL. So he is living it up, I have to tell you. And he is doing pretty good. Not so far, um, like home runs wise, he's not doing too well. You see, he has a 312 batting average. That puts him at eighth in the league. He has 110 hits, which puts him at 4th in the league. He has 353 at-bats, that puts him 8th in the league. And 25 doubles, that puts him 8th, or actually no, 5th in the league, tie for 5th. And he also has 5 triples, which puts him at a tie for 3rd in the league. 55 runs, tie for 6th. 909 OPS, that's an 8th best. And we are ready for the All-Star game. So, super excited here. Let's do this. Okay, in Houston, he's taking some BP. This game is not meant to be stressful. Yeah, it does have um, some meaning because whoever wins this has home field advantage in the World Series. But overall, you're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to interact. That was a long home run. You're supposed to interact with other teammates that you don't, um, or other players from other teams that you don't necessarily usually interact with. And it's supposed to be a fun time. So here we go. 2018 All-Star Game here at Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. AL and NL. Mac Money, like I said, third All-Star appearance in as many years. Second with the National League. And he is ready to go. So are his teammates. There are the starters. Pause it if you'd like to. As we are getting ready here for the opening ceremonies in Houston. You see the two pitchers, Chris Sale and AJ Griffin from the Oakland Athletics. Chris Sale moving on over to the NL with Mac, except on his rival team. He used to be on the White Sox with Mac, now he's on the Nationals. So he's still in the NL with um, Mac Money, but he's gonna be going against AJ Griffin, the surprise starter out of Oakland. There's Eric Hosmer and crew getting ready to go here for this All-Star game. Everyone's excited. You know, just a little bit of a quick break from baseball, the Midsummer Classic, and uh, yeah, you see some familiar faces. Will Myers, Andrew McCutcheon, and so forth. I don't see Mac Money in this scene, but you know he's there on the third baseline with the rest of his National League teammates. And here is, or here are the lineups once again. Mac Money hitting third today, just behind his teammate Justin Upton. Remember, these rosters are from MLB 14, the show, so Upton is still with the Braves. So here we go. Like I said, AJ Griffin, the surprise starter out of Oakland, Texas, for the AL, nine and two this season with a 2.25 ERA. 30 walks, 98 strikeouts. That is through 18 games this season. He's doing well, and here comes Mac Money, who has a 3.12 average this year. 13 homers, so a little bit of a down year in home run-wise. But he is ready to go in this All-Star game. Top of the first with a runner on first, one out, and he's taking this pitch into deep left, but that's going to be caught over there. He does like his first pitches. He really likes to swing on those first pitches, and Adam Jones is uh, making sure that nothing happens of that as Griffin deals to Money and... Pretty nice shot. I thought that might fall out a sec, uh, but then, you know, the speed there from Adam Jones, plus the ball kept hanging. Did not let that happen. So later in the game, bottom of the first, no one on, no one out. Here comes Jose Reyes leading things off, and Mac Money stretching out and making the catch. So a nice job there 
as the fans in Houston right now, whether they are from Houston or from elsewhere, are seeing what McElhinney can do out there and right, beating his rival Bryce Harper, division rival too, too, because he's with the Nationals in the NL East. And here comes Derek Holland, 8-1 on the season. Mac Money's coming up to bat. 0 for 1, you already saw his first at bat. Here is his second. See what he can do here in the top of the fourth. Here is the 2-0 pitch coming. And he hits this one. This is good contact. Right field, gone. Second home run of his All-Star Game career. That is awesome. I love hitting home runs in the All-Star Game. You guys saw the intro before this video started of last year's home run in Philadelphia when we were in the All-Star Game last year. This year, he also gets one. This one's in Houston. And, man. That was not a pitch Holland wanted to give to Mac Money. And he, Mac makes sure that he he knows that. And he, uh, he pays for that. He does. So home run there. Andrew McCutcheon's up to bat. Bottom of the fourth. No one on two outs. Mac is in the outfield. Trying to make this catch, and he will. No doubt about it. So he is the starter. Usually starters will get about three innings in this game. They give you about seven. So we're almost here. We'll have one more at bat as Michael Pineda comes in as he's a 7-3 record. So here comes Mac up to bat. One for two with that solo home run in the fourth. The runner on first and one out. First pitch of the at bat is hit. High and deep to center fields, but we all know how it is here in Houston, it's actually left center. And that is pretty deep, but not deep enough as Andrew McCutcheon will make the catch in center. So Mack is retired, 12 points for the at-bats. And like I said, he only goes seven innings, so he is pitch hit for in the seventh inning. And that is it for Mac Money's night. This is a crazy game though. The American League wins this game. Pedro Florimont is your MVP. He went one for two with an RBI, but folks, that was not just any ordinary RBI, that was a walk-off single in the bottom of the ninth. AL takes this one 3-2 and they will have World Series home field advantage. So if the Braves win the World Series, they will have to start out on the road. So that is going to do it for the All-Star Game. And right after that, we go ahead and sim through a couple of days and we already make a trade. We get Eduardo Nunez, the third baseman, in exchange for starting pitcher Jim Torres, I think his name was. Something like that. Nunez, just um, basically 75 overall, nothing special. Torres was a decent starting pitcher prospect. I don't know if he's going to pan out the way he wanted him to, but the Raves, uh, focusing on now, I guess, compared to the future. So that is how they're going to do things. Matt can argue. He has to put all his faith in this front office. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this all-star video. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, peace.